Did Tyree Nichols sleep with one of the wives of the five Memphis officers that killed and slain him? Inquiring minds want to know. More after this. Hello everyone and welcome back to AG's Point of View, where I give you my analysis on the most popular topics in the world today. In today's video, we have a rumor, simply a rumor, nothing factual, okay? It's just a theory that we're throwing out there that was, it was a story that I saw about it. I just wanted to bring it to you guys and see how you feel about it, okay? Did Tyree Nichols have sex with one of the officer's wives? And this is the reason why, hence the reason why they beat him the way they beat him. Before I dive into the details of the video, if you're new here, welcome. Welcome to AG's Point of View. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button as well. The more awesome, loving, and wonderful people over, similar to yourself, all my normal subscribers, thanks for coming back. I'm diving in. Rumors have been spread on social media linking Tyree Nichols, the man who died after he was allegedly beaten by police officers in a routine traffic stop, to the partner of one of the officers charged with his murder. Police stopped Tyree Nichols, age 29, in Memphis, Tennessee, on January 7th on suspicion of reckless driving, according to police statements. The family's attorney, Ben Crump, said in the press conference that Nichols was returning from Shelby Farms, a large parkland east of Memphis, where he had taken photos of the sunset. Um, five officers to Darius Bean, Demetrius Haley, Emmett Martin III, Desmond Mills Jr., and Justin Smith are in custody after being charged at the Shelby County District Attorney General Steve Malloy with murder, as well as aggravated assault, aggravated kidnapping, official misconduct, and official oppression. Now, various claims have been made that Nichols was in a relationship with the former girlfriend of Haley. The girlfriend, these claims say, worked, at, worked with Nichols at FedEx in Memphis. It was claimed that following the alleged beating of Nichols, Haley took images of Nichols to send to his partner as a warning. Hmm. Sir Major, an actor and model, tweeted on Monday, I am being told that Tyree Nichols was in a relationship with and worked at a Memphis FedEx with Memphis the police with Memphis police Demetrius Haley's ex-girlfriend and baby mama. After the officers beat Tyree Nichols, he took pictures of his face and sent it to his baby mama. Mm. He qualified soon after that tweet, which had been viewed nearly 60,000 times. The assertions were merely speculations, and the information has not been confirmed. Again, this is just merely a rumor, okay? Secondly, meanwhile, Lisa Campbell, a Washington, D.C.-based life advisor, says she's being told that the alleged beating was personal. It looked it like it was personal. And that Nichols was sleeping with Haley's wife in a post that had been viewed more than 2,000 times. In another post viewed nearly 1,500 times, she claimed that the wife had reported this to the police. Okay. Story goes on and on and on. I'm going to put the link in the description, allow you to read it on your own leisure. But I'm going to dive in right here to let you know how I feel about the situation. First and foremost, okay, um, it's been allegedly claimed that Tyree Nichols was sleeping with Officer Haley's wife. Could it be true? It's a possibility. It could be truth. You know what I'm saying? Um, and if it is true, um, shame on him. You know what I mean? Not Tyree Nichols, but Officer Haley. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I can understand how you would get upset, your wife cheating on you, you snapping, you going crazy, this and the third. Now, two things. First thing is, I believe that this story is being made up to get this guy a lesser charge, okay? Possibly get off because it's a crime of passion and, you know, he snapped, 
he didn't know what to do, went off, and then the rest is history. With that being said, what does that have to do with the other four officers that accompany him and damn near and, and basically killing this kid? Okay. Um, ain't no way in hell that I'm gonna chip in with an old fashioned butt weapon, mafia style, okay? And take the blame for something that, you know, somebody else did. Ain't no way I'm going out like that, okay? Secondly, if the kid went out there and really did have, you know, an affair with his wife, because it possibly could have been true. I don't know. I mean, that's just that's just pretending he did, he did and that it's true. Number one, you not you shouldn't go out there and, and kill this kid just because he did it, okay? Now, what I don't understand, what you, see, what, what men got to understand is this, because I'm, I'm all over the place with it, but men got to understand is this. Women going to do what they want to do. That could be your baby mom. That could be your ex-girlfriend. Okay. That could be your wife. Who knows? We can't control these women just like they can't control us. You, you're merely responsible for your, your own self. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you coming out here and you doing what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you can't go out and then sit here and be thinking that, you know, everything is all good. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I got this. I'm running the show. You know what I'm saying? So, everyone is an individual. We all do what we're going to do, however we're going to do it. Now, back to her being a wife, if she really did have an affair with him, like my man Willie D say, she's for the streets. Why are you having an affair with this kid? You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, what are you going to do as a husband, you know what I'm saying? You, what you need to do is, depending on how long you've been there, bro, hit him in the pocket. Hit him in the pocket. That's where it hurts the most. You hit him in the pocket, I promise you. Yeah, she's going to feel some kind of way and think about what she did. I'm telling you, that's what women do to men. And guess what? You got to turn around and do the same thing to them. Ain't no way in hell that I'm taking a 60-year sentence, okay? All because you cheated on me. No way. I'm not throwing my life away. You know what I'm saying? It ain't worth it to me. So, I mean, what you got to do is just be smart and, you know, think about your future before you do anything. That ain't going to work for me. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so, I mean, at the end of the day, she got to, you know, she got to get dealt with. She has to get dealt with. Now, if she really did do that and she screwed this kid, now the guy that she was married to, he going to jail along with his dumbass buddies that's following behind him. Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. It's not one woman on this planet that I will go to jail for, okay? Because she doing some dirt. If you want to do some dirt, that's fine. Go ahead. Do your thing. Guess what? It's another one right down the street. I don't give a damn what direction you're going. You can go down the street. Left, right, left, right, east, west, north, or south. There's somebody out there for you no matter what. You know what I mean? They, they, they doing what they're doing. You can switch it up. Move on. Go get somebody else. So at the end of the day, you got to be smart about that. You know what I'm saying? So now, now this happens. Now, Mary, this is straight up the rumor. And we're not going to go concrete. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean... It's just funny how they come out with this story now, saying all kinds of stuff. I mean, I don't believe none of this stuff. I don't think it was had nothing to do with an affair or none of that stuff. Me personally, I just think they just went out there, they're a gang, and they thought they could get away with that shit. And they just did what they did. You know what I'm saying? They did this dude dirty for no freaking reason. You know what I mean? Because he don't appear to be that type of dude. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, like I said, we all got our own skeletons in the closet. But, you know, we won't know what he did or how he did it. You know what I'm saying? Unless somebody comes out and merely just says what happened or whatever the situation may be. And even with that, you're still not gonna believe what they're saying because you know, we don't know if it's being made up, they're being paid to say that or what. So at the end of the day, what's done is done. And God rest his soul. And you know, let's just hope that they do get to the bottom of why it happened. And these cops get the full term, you know what I'm saying? That 60 years, 
I let them rot in, in prison because they should have never have done it. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, more people, you know, they done got rid of a lot of those police officers that was in that unit. It's called the Scorpion Unit. And they got rid of the majority of the black ones because it was just like, yo, y'all running this little gang thing. We ain't doing all that. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know, cops do the same thing. White cops do the same thing. They don't just ban them. So, you know, we're not going to make this a black and white thing. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's all about a good and evil thing to make. These cops was evil, and they need to be dealt with, and they're getting dealt with as, you, as we speak. So, but with that being said, if you like what you've heard, please don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit that like button as well. It'll be more awesome, loving, and wonderful people over. Similar to yourself, I'm on normal subscribers. Thanks for coming back. Do me a huge favor. Continue to like the videos. Continue to share these videos. We're trying to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Bring more family members over, and um, we're just gonna have a big old party. Have a big old, you know, a lot of fun. So. Um, I want to do a giveaway, um, you know, for every thousand subscribers that I get, you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to think of what I want to give, what I want to do, you know what I'm saying? I may send somebody a cash app, you know what I'm saying? Hey, congratulations, you know, you know, you subscriber number, you know, this number, or, you know, just do a little contest once we get to that number and then you pick the right one and then boom, you know what I'm saying? You get what you get. So, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm debating, you know what I mean? I'll come back to you and if I feel like, you know, I figure out a good way of doing it, then I'll come back and report it back to you guys and then we'll go from there. So, this is something I want to do to get back to the community. Um, I thank you guys. I'm nothing left without you. You know what I'm saying? I thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for coming back, you know, and doing all that you do. Do me a favor. Check me out on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, give me a follow. Give me a shout. You know what I'm saying? Let me know something, you know, what you're doing over there and I'll give you a shout back. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all family. I love every single one of y'all. I thank y'all for watching the video this, you know, up to this point, and I can guarantee you this, I will see you in the next video, peace.